Welcome back to another edition of the Gentleman of Style Show. This is a special edition, the Martin Luther King Jr. edition. I'm Baldwin. And I'm Creech. And as he said, this is the Martin Luther King Jr. edition of the Gentleman of Style Show. And I, you know, I'm almost kind of at a loss for words because when you look at something of this magnitude, a man who I, I don't I don't know how to really, you know, put it into words or really you know, just it's so much to. Sorry, brother. Sorry. You know, I'm just saying it's so much. Put, to, put, your, put your feelings yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, talk to him like you want to talk. But it's so much to Dr. King that you really can't quantify it in real, you know, in words. You know right. what I mean? Like you could, you could say, you know, you could talk about his scholastic aptitude. You could talk about, you know, him spiritually as a as a man and as a pastor. I mean, you could talk about him, of course, as a civil rights leader. Right. Then you can go to the side this, you know, the the man, the man, know, the the father, the husband, the friend, the brother, you the know, gentleman. So you know, when, when we're looking at that in terms of, you know, just just a day, you know, it, it's a holiday. But then I think so. I, I think back how long it took us just to get that day. Right. You get to fight so hard just to get, get that, that day. day. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, you know. Truly in our lives, and, you, and as you come of age and as you realize certain different things that, um, um, uh, that contribute to where you're at, and if you had certain successes or if you had certain uh, failures in your life, you know, how do you quantify that? As Terrence um, elaborated before, how do we get there? What stepping stones were there or placed before us in order to get to the, the, the points that we're at in order to do the things that we are able to do today without having someone you know, to say, oh, you're not eligible or, or, or you're not qualified or you're not good enough or, um, or just playing right out, I don't like you because you are a certain tone or skin color or anything or nationality or religion, you know, the, the, the spectrum is broad, you know, especially when, you know, with the climate of today. At this point and this pinnacle um, um, passing as far as um, his birthday is coming up this coming Monday, uh, we have to, we have to, and I think we owe it to ourselves to reflect on certain things and what it means to us as individuals, not as a group, but as an individual, because as an individual, we all have a, a personal responsibility to push things forward. Now, we do things collectively, but as an individual, we have to put that together to do it in a collective because that's just the way it's done. You know, January 15th is his actual birthday. Um, it's an actually now, it's an actual holiday. Um, all offices are closed. Not everybody. Not not everybody. You, you guys open? No, I mean, no, we, we're done, but there are some businesses that, that are still open. Right, there are some businesses that are open, you know, you know uh, they, they run 24 hours. That's just the nature of the beast. Of how it is and everything, but most most businesses are closed, you know. So, and that, that's a good thing. That that's the true um, indication of a holiday. Things shut down, and you have that day to reflect and relax and do the things that you want to do, um, as you want to observe that that actual day of observance. So, well, here's a here's a tip just from me, if you know, in the grand spirit of, of the holiday, you know, go out and do something in the spirit of it, you know, go take in, um, you know, an exhibition, go take in a play, go take in a festival. Uh, if you're in the area, I know quite a few people probably plan a trip to 
DC to the memorial. So, you know, do some of these things besides just rest. I know it's typical for people, you know, you get a day off, you want to rest. I get it. I'm, I'm one of those people as well. But if you get a chance to do something in observance and, and, and you know, in contrast to your normal laying around or taking a break, you know, go 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 check that out. I think I'm gonna try to seek out something in the area to to find to just go, you know, be a part of and and maybe get some knowledge and some information that I didn't know or you know get motivated to you know to continue to do positive things or whatever it may be. So there are normally so many different things that uh, different cities and counties or whatever put together uh, in in observance of the day. So. Uh, especially if you have younger kids or even if you have older kids that's a great thing to do you know collectively together and to be able to you know learn more uh, to be able to you know speak with people and it's always normally I found at most events there are always a few people that were around during the time when Dr. King lived and, and trust me you'll learn so much from those people just having those conversations and and, and them telling you, you know, where they were doing this thing or, you know, if they marched or all the different things that went on during that area. So it's, it's, it's really insightful to me. So I don't know if it's something that has been short term as far as coming or long term as far as coming because, you know, there's always been an underlying undertone. But to me right now, I, I, I just think, you know, the focus is, hey, what can I do or what can I participate in to broaden the perspective and the enlightenment of everything around me? So um, I'm going to do my part and I hope everyone else out there are, is, are, are, are more than willing to do their part as well and to push forward and to push what Martin Luther King represented as far as the dream is concerned. Um, let's get in there and you know do what we have to do. Don't let it die and don't let it fade. Keep the memory alive and um, you know there's, there, there, there's more to do. Let's join in, let's do it together. Well I'll, that's one thing. I, I, you know <laughs> it's amazing to me. I don't think that's one person and this, you know, this is just kind of my thought process, but that's one person I don't think that that'll ever be forgotten in the history of things. Uh, you know, as we think back to someone like George Washington, who I, I don't, you know, of course I never met him. I didn't, I didn't know him. It's all history. But when you think of Dr. King, on the level of his impact on the world, in that, and that, and truly, it was a short amount of time. People think it spanned forever and a day, but it was a short amount of time, you know, from from the boycotts to the marches to the, you know, that span of time right there was not, you know, it wasn't, you know, 30 years. Now, the, the fight has been going on quite some time, but his span of time where he, he rose as, you know, as a leader rises, you know, learning, understanding, educating himself, and then taking the reins and saying, if nobody else will, I will. Or, you know, I'll go there with you. I'll be a part of what you're doing. All these things that he did, it wasn't a vast, you know, 80-year legacy. Right. But it feels that way. Right. It feels like he's been here with us the whole time. The impact of it, the, 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 you know, the sheer, the, sheer, the sheer concentration and the focus and the intensity of the situation and what he brought to it, to what you're saying. Yeah, so, so it, was, you know. it, 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 it was that that understanding with that that amount of time, and I don't. And these are not two things I'm likening to, or well, I'm not comparing one to the other, but I'm, I'm comparing the the I guess the, the the concentration of the situation. Same thing with like Tupac, you know, Tupac wasn't here that long, but in that span of time, he made his impact and he put his imprint down right. enough that. He 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 kind of resurfaces all the time in conversations and 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 you know there you know there's foundations and I think he you know there's a class that's being taught about so all these different things so don't I don't want to hear nobody out there saying oh you know Terrence is out there comparing Dr King to Tupac no I'm just saying the impact that a person has never is just about the span of time it's about that moment and the way you 
basically put your quality into that time. Not to quantify it, but the quality that you put in, you know, between those numbers. You know, because you get to, you know, you basically get two numbers in this life. You get the number where you start with and the number that you end with, which is the day you're born and the day you die. So those are those are your two numbers. You get those two. The Social Security number and all that other stuff, that's just some stuff that goes on in life. But you only really get two numbers in life. That, that is correct. That is correct. So, but um, in the spirit of, of uh, Dr. King's holiday, we wanted to do something different. We wanted to do something special. And as we go along, we keep evolving and trying to do better things. So what we wanted to do this time is we wanted to go out on location and really start to talk to, you know, some of the community and some of the people and find out exactly what uh, the holiday meant to them and what they thought about the dream in, 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 in this current day. Uh, and so what we did was we sent our correspondent out, uh, Miss Cindy Brew, and she talked with some people and, you know, it, it was it was extremely enlightening. It was cold out there too, I'm gonna tell you that. It was yeah, cold. It was cold. Outside. So um, so we, we, we braved the, the weather. <laughs> we got it done. Um, so uh, you wanna go ahead and throw to our, our, our lovely correspondent. Yeah, so 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 what we did, we went out on, on location today and um, like Terrence said, we had our correspondent out there, Miss Cindy Brew. And she talked to a couple of people and asked them basic, a couple of basic questions in order to get their feedback on what Martin Luther King's birthday um, holiday meant to them. So, without uh, further ado, um, here's a little bit of what, you, what we saw today or what we found out today on location. Your makeup looks gorgeous. <laughs> Um, I just want to ask, in light of it being Martin Luther King's birthday and the holiday on Monday, what does that holiday represent for you personally? Personally, it represents hope. Uh, it represents, it would represent freedom to the fullest extent, but uh, in the time that we're in, right. it seems a little hard, but it, it definitely represents hope. Hey, well, you're from a younger generation, yes, so what does Martin Luther King Day represent for you? Um, it represents a day of fight and freedom um, and just being a fearless leader and really just giving us hope that, um, you know, the power of change is really, really amazing and we just have to all come together to do it. Just what he's done for us as a black race of people, mm -hmm. that just, you know, the first black man that ever accomplished and achieved the goals of the FGs, to give us a day like that, that's words can that really describe and put them in one place right. what it meant to me secondly do you feel that his dreams that he had back then are coming to fruition now and if so in what ways i do believe they're coming into fruition slowly mm -hmm. um we do have more equality mm -hmm. um it seems like this year we've been taking a step back right. but i believe that it's caused people to fight more resist more to push for um, more equality and push for dr king's dream right thank you so much thank for you. your time Thanks, you too all right and last question do you think that dr king's dreams are coming to fruition in our day and age slowly but surely yes i think um, times have drastically changed mm -hmm. since he was around um, and that obviously has to do a lot with all of his efforts um, but i think we have a, still a, a large fight to to win right Thank you so much for your time. And do you feel that his dreams are coming to fruition this day and age? I think they're more greater now since his passing than they've ever been. And I think that we're really beginning to see what he have done and we've learned to appreciate it as time goes on. You know, this has been 50 years. Right. You know. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Um, what does Martin Luther King Day represent for you? It represents... Um, the, the strongness of being black and don't judge people by your color. And, and do you feel that the dreams that Dr. King had, that they're coming true for us today? Yes. Okay, thank you for your time, sweetie. Oh, well, looky there. Look who I found. Oh, okay. If it isn't Baldwin and Creech. How you doing? <laughs> good, how are you? Oh, we're doing great. We're doing great. How are you doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Good, good. Um, so I'm going to ask you the same two questions that I've been asking today, and that is, in light of Martin Luther King's birthday and holiday being on Monday, what does the holiday represent to you personally? You go. You want me to go first? Yeah. Uh, for me, it, it represents uh, a long battle and a long fight. Uh, that we've all had to endure in terms of 
where we've come from and what we're trying to do. Um, uh, along with just having a holiday, it, it's the meaning behind everything that we had to do to really have, have the recognition that we should have had for a man who gave so much to uh, not just black people, but society as a whole. So for me, it just represents a, a span of time where we've, we've come from so far to go, but, but, but a span of time where we came from. Yeah, and I'm inclined to agree with um, Terrence. And I think, you know, without that strong foundation that he's laid um, in the past, you know, we couldn't really couldn't be where we're here today. But I believe also that there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And, you know, um, um, I think we all have responsibility to do our part and to contribute to that work. So I think there's a continued um, struggle. It's a continued um, education. And, you know, and we all need to continue to strive together in order to reach those points. So it's a pinnacle thing and, um, you know, it's, it's a great way to reflect and not to forget. And the last question was, do you think that his dreams are, in fact, coming to fruition in our time and day and age? Absolutely. I'm inclined to agree, but I guess what my caveat is, um, it, we're doing it at a snail's pace um, yeah. in my mind from where from where we've been to where we are now and some of the things that are going on especially uh, in government right now it, it's like a snail's pace and also it feels like in terms of where we've come from certain people are trying to take us right back to that same time so I, I think there's definitely a lot of things that he wanted us to do that is starting to come to fruition where people can truly be themselves. There, there are levels of equality, but we still have so far to go. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Our pleasure. As you can see, um, Cindy did a couple of interviews and she was interviewing people that, you know, they gave their heartfelt um, experience and what it meant to, as far as the holiday meant to them, the Martin Luther King holiday. And um, there's nothing unedited about that. I mean, it's, it's raw and it's real. It came straight from their heart. So, you know, we want to share that with you guys and um, to, 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 to get you out there and get you on site and get you, you know, the, the meaning outside of what we may say. So we want to share that with you guys and make sure that there was something outside that, um, um, that gave you some, you know, some actual thoughts because, you know, we can sit here and we can talk to you all day long and we can tell you our points of view, but there are other points of view out there as well that we think we can share. Yeah, and I mean, the other part is, you know, going out there, we were actually out um, by the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Um, we were close uh, by, the the, memorial, the memorial. Yeah, by, the, by the memorial here, here in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's the other part. We wanted to go out and, and, and experience it, be in that area, and, and there was a lot going on even today, um, you know, they still do tours and things like that. And, you know, right now they're doing something to the memorial. Uh, they're cleaning it up, getting it, getting it ready for Monday. So um, that was something that, you know, we really felt, you know, strong about not just sitting and doing, you know, our show and, you know, cause there's going to be a lot of shows where people just do this, that and the other, but we wanted to be somewhere that was connected to him. And we were able to do that. And I think, you know, Cindy did a great job, you know, with, with the interviews and, and talking to the people. And, and we really appreciate those people, you know, stopping by. And, and as you can see, there was a, a young lady in there that was, I love that, you know, that she wanted, she actually asked, could she say something? So I think that was great to have young people come and, and, and understand the importance of Dr. King at a young age and feel so, you know, moved by it that they want to say something. So I thought that was that was kind of like the highlight of that for me. I loved everybody else, you know, for their input. But to have a young child that, you know, wasn't even thought about, you know, during that era to understand the importance of it and really feel so moved that they just want to say something in regards to it, I thought that was a nice touch. And, and as you can see with the interviews, you know, the spectrum of people that we interviewed is the way that Dr. King wanted it to be. It was... Right. It was about, you know, you know, all of us. It was about the human race, not, you know, one race, but the human race. So I think today, just those interviews alone show the impact and show shows the togetherness that just him alone, you know, and, and, and his, his his mindset and, and his dream and his words and everything about him. That is what it was all about. And for those who, you know, don't understand it and those who consistently try to break, 
you know, down the, you know, try to world for us to just be turning our back and saying, oh, well, we're going to stand for anything. It's just not going to happen. Hey, well said. Well said. Well said. I mean, I, I don't have anything to add to that. That was, that was elegant. Yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, it, you know, with, with Dr. King, you know, you could really, we could sit here and do a mini movie. You know, we could do a full length movie. We could do so many different things because his, his life has so many different avenues and so many things you could, you could talk about. But we wanted to make sure that we, you know, gave our, you know, our time and our thoughts and our perception and we wanted to do a show that, that showed our, our appreciation as well as, you know, just to honor him. And so, you know, this is our way of doing that. Um, you know, we'll probably do, you know, things individually or what have you, you know, in our daily life. But, you know, collectively as uh, <coughs> the gentleman style show, you know, this is something that we wanted to do. So I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, elated that we were able to do it. We have a platform. And so, you know, we're, we're able to use our platform to, to show everyone who follows us, who watches us, that, you know, this is something that you definitely, if you don't show the appreciation for, now's the time to start. It's not just a, it's not just a day off. So keep that in mind. Exactly. So, so with that being said, I think it's a wrap. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. And like, you know, we always like to say, here at the Gentleman Style Show, we believe in better. Ball and Creech, we will progress. And in the dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has laid out before us, we will continue to strive and we will continue to do better, better, and better. Until next time. And we challenge you all to do the same. Next week. Happy birthday, Dr. King. Happy birthday. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, To bring forth that hoping, put it back together when niggas thought it was broken, but it's open. Wide enough for the whole fam to come through. Dough stacking in bundles, flows tracks in the one twos. Get your run shoes, run fast as you can. Here comes the Iron Man, jump out the frying pan, smack dead in the fire. I ain't Iron Man. Shorty said, rest your head and retire, but I'm the boss, babe. Lawless Inc.